Well, it is back to school week here on Fox 8 News in the morning, and we are covering a wide range of topics to get you and your kids ready for the new year. Yeah, we feel like we need a little extra preparation mm -hmm. this year. Today, psychologist Dr. Lori Steve Gross joins us with some tips for parents and students, the anxiety, all of it that, you know, you normally have starting a new school year, but compounded by the pandemic. Now it's anxiety on steroids, right? Oh, right. my goodness. I mean, yeah, that's what they tell me. See, my daughter's still at home. Yeah. She's going to school She's from home. Fine. But okay. she is going back, though. Yeah. Right, right. So, that, you know, so there's still that anxiety. And yeah, mine just course. moved away to college. So yeah. it's, you know, so freshman year. I got a lot of anxiety college, sitting on this yeah. couch. I can feel it. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> So what, what about, you know, like you, for instance, your mm -hmm. kids going away from college. Yeah. Advice for her, because she's, uh, you know. I'm yeah, I struggling know. with that. Feeling a little unstable <laughs> lately, yeah. But, you know, I think that when it comes to anxiety, mm -hmm. it's a balancing act, of course. And children, no matter what age, even your college kids, mm -hmm. take the, the tone from us. You know, they're listening carefully to what we're saying. They're watching how we're reacting. And so when your household is filled with fear, like, oh, my God, and then things have become so polarized around vaccines and masks, kids hear all of that. And then we send them into a classroom and we expect them to follow the rules, not feel anxious. And so I think the ultimate responsibility, unfortunately, falls back on us as parents. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about in our household? And, and when it comes to times of uncertainty, and there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of things legitimately to be concerned and worried about as parents mm -hmm. and as teachers, I think we have to look at uncertainty, breeds anxiety and that hijacks our brain mm -hmm. so we move immediately into that fight or flight like okay i'll be impulsive in my thinking okay this is terrible they should be doing this this is why we're fighting mm -hmm. this is why everything is so divided as opposed to allowing ourselves to pause long enough to let the intellectual part of our brain kick in mm -hmm. and that takes great um self-discipline yeah and self-awareness and when we do that as parents we set the right tone for, for our children mm -hmm. how do you do this for you know young kids maybe their you know schools are, are deciding on mandates not mandates mm -hmm. maybe you have kids in different schools mm -hmm. where some mm -hmm. will have to some mm -hmm. won't it's mm -hmm. it's just a lot for young people to yeah and I think when we talk about um, to our children, this is what we as a family are doing and we're, we're messaging it that way you know we know that this virus is dangerous I don't think we need to sugarcoat this for children we know that uh, people are going to get vaccines and that helps keep them safe. These are the facts. This is science. But beyond that becomes, but people have differing opinions and they're going to make different choices for their family. Mm -hmm. But for our family, I want you to be able to X, Y, and Z. Got and it. also talking to them about not the bullying thing. Right. Like, you know. The mass shaving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, well, the, Tommy won't wear one because yeah. he said his mom said this is stupid. Right, and, right. you know, trying to come back and get and go, yeah. but Tommy and his yeah. mom have a right to make their choices. This is what we're going to do in our family. Well, how do you deal with Tommy advice. going over, over, over Tommy's house? Yeah. And, and, and you yeah. want to know if, if the mom is vaccinated. Yeah. How, how do you handle that? So, you know, I fall on the side, again, tracking the science, and I'm in healthcare, and I can't put on the mask of pretending that we don't have people dying, that we don't have, you know, a large influx of people really getting sick. So, from my perspective, of course, I have the bend of we need to be vaccinated. As parents, we need to be vaccinated. It's the best and safest way to protect our children, and that is a fact. But do you ask? Do you ask? The and I straight think up? we have every right to mm -hmm. ask that question of people who are going to come into contact with us and with our children. This is not about okay. You have a right then to put your seatbelt on when you're driving alone. If you, mm -hmm. you know, again, I'm not going to mandate that for you. Right. But if I'm sending my child to play at your house. I, as a parent, have every right to say to you, are you vaccinated? Mm -hmm. Now, I think the question then, it's awkward and it's clunky and it feels, it can feel judgy and all of that. I think we stop there. Then it's not like, well, why aren't you vaccinated? This right. is ridiculous. Right. Even if that's what our gut is saying. Right. I think the question still becomes, I have to make a choice for myself and for my child. And I have to have the, I have the right to know. And, right. and again, I'll add to this, people have kind of thrown a HIPAA around. Uh -huh. Like, oh, you can't ask me that because that's illegal. Right, right. The reality is that is not illegal. Mm -hmm. You know, th this does not fall under the rubric of HIPAA. Mm. So, and there's a whole, that, that would be a whole nother show for us. Right. Um, but I, I think it's important to know that we have a right to ask and people have a right to respond. And if they don't respond, I think you've got your information. And again, you do what's best for your family. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it as thank always. Dr. Lori Stevick Russ, thank you for joining us. Be sure to join us tomorrow at 7 as back to school week continues taking the wordy out, out of your child's bus ride to school we'll show you the app some local districts are using that lets you know exactly where your kids are when they arrive to their destination don't miss back to school week tomorrow again fox 8 news at 7 a.m